Hey guys, Steve Welch here. I just had a really, really interesting phone call, all right? So um, not too long ago, I did a video, probably about a year ago, actually. I think it was August a year ago. Um, it might have even been longer than that. I did a video about uh, the warranty scams, right? Basically, I mean, people that call you and go, we want to extend your factory warranty. And they have all these little mailers you'll get and these postcards and all this stuff that says, I want to extend your warranty because of X, Y, and Z and whatever, whatever. And I decided to have some fun <laughs> because I just got a phone call. <laughs> so I got a phone call from somebody saying that she was with warranty division, national license underwriters, and that she was calling to extend the factory warranty on my 2018 Highlander. And I said, oh great, I want to talk to you. And she was like, what? <laughs> I'm sure never said by anybody ever, right? I want to talk to you, I have some questions. She's like, okay. And I said, I'm on YouTube. I said, I've got a pretty decent following on YouTube. I have done a video not too long ago about the warranties and within that video, talked about these people that call you or put phone uh, uh, um, put postcards in your mailbox I said if I can find one that's legitimate I will tell you that there is one that's legitimate and I want to come to you today and tell you I'm a hundred percent sure that I've yet to do that <laughs> just just saying it just it doesn't seem like this one is because she couldn't answer the questions correctly to make me think that she's in any way legitimate so to tell you about the conversation, I could have recorded the conversation, but I'm not sure of the legality of that, but I can tell you exactly what she said. So she they got, she said, we're calling to extend the warranty, your factory warranty on your 2018 Highlander. And I said, that's really interesting, right? And I told her all, all that, that stuff about um, wanting to talk to her. And I said, so let me ask you a question, all right? So I'd, I'd love to see if you're legitimate. Oh, I assure you that we're legitimate. Okay, that, that, I, let, let, let's keep going, right? So let me ask you a question. If I need to buy your warranty, what's the cost? Well, I would have to get you to somebody else. I just make the phone call. Okay, fair enough, right? I, I, so you're just dialing and then you transfer it to somebody that's the closer, I'm guessing, right? So, okay, but let me ask you a question. Let's say that I have your warranty and my alternator is bad. Where do I go to, do I, do I go to the dealership or where do I go? Well, I mean, I, I'd have to get you to somebody else to, to answer to answer that. I said, okay, well, let me ask you a question. Is that a covered item? Well, it depends on, on, on the warranty you have. Okay, fair, fair enough. If it was a covered item within the warranty, how would I get it covered? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know. You, you'd have to, to go and, and, and find that. I said, okay, let me ask you another question. How did you get my information? Because I, all, all you guys always ask me that question. How did they get my information? Dealership sold it to them, right? And I always wondered where you guys would get that idea because it's like, look, why would the dealership sell information to somebody that's selling a warranty when the dealership has a, most times at least, has a much better product, at least most times from what, I, I haven't found a different one yet, but the dealership has a much better product to sell you than what you can get from the postcard or from the phone call. So why would the dealership, so just, and I told her that, I said, logically, tell me, why would the dealership sell you information on our customers or on any dealership sell you information on their customers? And she's like, well, I, I don't know, but I, I, we, we get them from the dealership. I, I know you don't. Did you get it from the state? Because I've always been told you get it from the state. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know where we get the information from. It's just, it's on a list. Okay, what does your list say on the top of it? I don't know. Well, what does your list say? Where where did the list come from? All right? She couldn't tell me where the list came from. I know it's not from dealerships. Dealerships wouldn't do that. Um, it's most likely, like I said, from the state selling information, them finding information somehow. But I, I was trying to pull that out. She didn't know the answer. I wasn't high enough on the food chain to get somebody that knew the answer. I said, secondly, so you said you're selling a warranty, right? She goes, yes, our warranties um, extend the original factory warranty, they extend the original factory warranty for a period of time. Okay, so basically it's the exact same warranty that the factory gives. Yes. 
Okay, so I don't need to go through you guys to get an approval. I just go through Toyota or Honda or all the people that you just mentioned. Well, well no, I mean, it's, it's through us. I said, all right, so that's not extending the factory warranty. If you're extending the factory warranty, it would be from the factory, right? And the, then the factory warranties don't get extended. You have a service contract, not a factory warranty. That's, that's the extension part of it. It's not a warranty. It's a service contract. You need to know your terms. And she goes, well, no, we, we sell warranties. It's not a warranty. <laughs> it's a service contract. It's not a warranty. And this girl, I will tell you, this girl was extremely nice. She didn't know what she was talking about. <laughs> but all you guys ask, you know, th this is who you would get when you have a problem. When you go and you talk to these people and you try to get an answer, I need something fixed. I talked to some of my service advisors and I said, let me ask you a question. Some of these late night people that put, you know, uh, you know, the monthly fees where you just have to pay monthly for these warranties, which is crazy that the minute you don't pay, it's no longer covered, right? So all these, these late night, whatever, have you dealt with them? And, and the service advisor I talked to, they have like, yes, we have. And I said, how's it been? Horrible. The answer that every one of them said, they all use the same word, horrible. Most times, this is what I said, most times people just end up paying out of their own pocket, right? Now I will tell you that there is one of them that's a late night one. And I had a customer of mine tell me that he has that company for a warranty for his wife's car and for his car. And that he said that I've probably paid between two and $3,000 to have that warranty over the past year or so, maybe a little bit longer, but that's what he said. And I said, have you ever used it? He said, yeah, I used it on wheel bearings. Okay, how hard was it to use that warranty? I asked him that question. How hard was it to that warranty? And I, I, I talked like warranties because that's what he was talking about, right? Like I said, service contract. But how hard was it to use that warranty? And he goes, oh, it was, it was horrible. He said, I had to find somebody that would be willing to work with them. And he said that it's not really bad. It just takes forever to get paid and you have to get everything approved. And there's just... He's like, it's just, it's just really hard to work with them, but this guy would take it because he needed the work. That's pretty much what it was. So he was willing to wait for his cash because the job that he was doing had very little out on the parts and it was mostly out on the labor. So he was willing to wait for his money. So that's why he took it. A lot of places won't be willing to work on their work or willing to wait for their money. So um, that was what he said. That was his experience. That's fine. I don't have any experience because I've never tried to use one of those. I have used the warranty that I bought from the dealership. And you know what? I come in, I say, yeah, I got the warranty done. Obviously I work here, but it wouldn't matter where I'm at. It would work the exact same way. So um, I just wanted to mention that. I just had this phone call. This, like I said, the girl is extremely nice. I asked her if I could use her name on, on YouTube and she said, I'd rather you not. All right, but I told her to watch for this video and I'm, I'm proving to you that I put this video up, but I got a phone call from Warranty Division, is what she called it, Warranty Division, National License Underwriter, and she could not prove to me that she was legit. So she, she kept talking about, like I said, oh, I'd have to get you to somebody or I'd have to whatever. And it's just, oh, all I do is basically dial the phone. Just realize guys, if you are considering one of these people that just call you out of the blue, why call the dealership don't, you don't even have to call us call the dealership you bought the car from and ask them what their warranty options are i think you'll probably be a whole lot happier to do that than you'd be at these other ones not to say that there's not a legit one out there but i have not been proven yet that any of the ones out there are legitimate like i said with the exception of that one and i'm not going to mention them just because like i said he, he had enough bad to say about them but um but uh, they did pay, they did pay, but it was it was uh, months down the road and, and all of that. So what do you guys think? Have you guys found one that's legit? Just let me know if you found one that's legit. But I got a phone call from these people and I kept her on the phone for, I don't know, 15 minutes. We're going back and forth. I let her know a couple of things that she was saying was actually illegal. Um, <laughs> She could not tell me where, she, where they get their information from, which I already know it's probably the state, but could not tell me any of that. Um, would not officially give me her name for, uh, for the video, but I wanted to post this because I promised her 
Within an hour, I would have this video up and I just got off the phone with her. Fresh in my mind, fresh to you guys. What do you guys think? Found one that works? I haven't yet, but uh, not for the ones that call you or send you the postcards. But Steve Welch, uh, I, I'm just, yeah, I appreciate you guys out there. Just let me know your answer. Steve Welch here. You guys have a great day. I'm going to talk to you soon. Bye.